We're back now for part number two of my 53rd, or 54th game, rather, of, uh, my 54th game of Jeopardy for the PS2 console. And, um, we're currently in the double Jeopardy round. Player two just show, player three, rather, just shows a mountains for 400, so let's look at the clue now. I'm currently leading with $4,000. John Krakauer gave a personal account of the 1996 disaster on this mountain in the book Into Thin Air. Uh, what is Mount Everest? Oh, that's right, that's Mount Everest. Exactly. Player two, it's your turn. Mountains for 800. Yosemite National Park is located in this California mountain range. What is the Sierra Nevada? I know these last four ones for sure. And I hope there's a daily double here. Right you are. Mountains, tw one, Mountains 1,200. This country's highest peak, Mount Elbrus, lies in the Caucasus Mountains on the Georgian border. Uh... Oh, uh, what is Russia? Mount 1600. Hemingway's The Snows of This Mountain was first published in Esquire in August 1936. What is Kilimanjaro? Yes. Mount 2000. Answer? All right. Player one, please make your wager now. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna. You know what? I think I'm gonna bet it all. Here's the clue. The highest peak in North America. It's also called Denali. And I'm going to be very glad I did. What is Mount McKinley? Correct. Um, carrots. Four hundred. What is vitamin? What is vitamin A? Right, you are. Carrots eight hundred. In parts of the world, carrots are roasted ground and used as a substitute for this morning drink. What is coffee? Right, pick again. Carrots 12. Among veggies, lettuce is a salad crop, broccoli is a cold crop, and carrots this underground type of crop. What we were looking for... Root crop. Carrot 1600. Carrots are one of the off-credit vegetables in this Campbell's drink introduced nationwide in 1948. Oh. What is V8? Exactly. Oh, V8. Okay. I wouldn't have said that, though. Give me the movies for 400. Here's the naked truth. This full 1997 film is the highest grossing British movie in history. What is full... Full Monty? Right. Yeah! Player one, what Carrots 2000. This large state is the top carrot producing state. Let me see, uh...
Is it California? Very good. All right. Earthquakes, 400. In early 2001, L.A. got 14 inches of rain. This city got 5 inches of rain and a 6.8 jolt to trap people in its space needle. Uh, what is... Seattle? Yeah, 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 it's Seattle. Now it's coming back to me. Correct. Earthquake, Earthquake's 800. In December 2000, this country felt several small quakes around Popocatepetl. Uh... What is, uh, Mexico? Right. Earthquakes 1200. The January 26, 2001 quake centered in this country was felt in Bangladesh, 1200 miles across the Bay of Bengal. What is India? Yeah. Right. Okay, player three. Artists for 400. It's been estimated that this Spanish cubist created more than 100,000 works during his 91 years. Who is Pablo Picasso? Yes, indeed. Over to you, player one. Uh, uh, earthquake 1600. A 1964 quake in this state caused tsunamis as far away as Siberia and Hawaii and California. Oh. What is Alaska? That's it. Oh. I wouldn't have said that, Larry though. Three, your turn. Inventors for 400. He found his assistant electrician, Tom Watson, in a store where he bought electrical supplies. Who... Is uh, Sherlock Holmes? Oh, no, uh, Uh, who is, uh, could it be Ben Franklin? No, I'm not no. Sorry. what the heck was I thinking? Uh, who was Alexander Graham Bell? Oh, that's right. Very good. You pick again. Inventors for 800. In 1919, this father of wireless telegraphy represented Italy at the Paris Peace Conference. Who was Guglielmo Marconi? That's I was going to say that. Player two, it's your turn. Inventors for 1,200. Built in 1831, his first mechanical reaper resembled a two-wheeled horse-drawn chariot. Who is Cyrus McCormick? Correct. Hmm. Player three, your turn. Inventors for 1600. This Russian-American TV pioneer developed the Iconoscope in 1923 and Kinescope in 1924. I'm going to have to ring in on this one.
No, oh, no not Edison. I am really hesitating a lot. Who was Vladimir K. Zvorikin? Oh. Exactly. What the heck was I thinking? Player two, what will it be? The movie for 800. A carousel, roller coaster, or midway, the film that featured a very young Helen Hunt. Well, let's see here. Not carousel. Exactly. It's a roller coaster. Player one. Uh, Earthquakes 2000. On January 13, 2001, a 7.6 timber rocked this tiny Central American nation. A 6.6 quake hit exactly one month later. Camera's low, but I might but be able to... Salvador. Definitely. It's El, Sal El Salvador. I might be able to get through with this if I can get this thing... Artist. If I can get in my groove again. He included sketches of Dutch rural scenes in a letter to his brother Theo, not his ear. Who is Van Gogh? Yes. Player one. Artist twelve hundred. In the nineteen twenties and nineteen thirties, this painter collaborated with director Louis Bunuel to make two surrealist films. Who was Salvador Dali? Right, you are. Oh. Player two, you choose. Inventors for two thousand. In 1895, these brothers invented the cinematograph, which combined a movie camera with a printer and a projector. Who were the Lumiere brothers? Very good. You pick again. Mm. Artists for 1600. He completed his last great painting, Bar at the Folies Bergère, in 1882, a year before his death. Who is Manet? You bet. Player one. Artist two thousand. Okay. Player one, please make your wager now. Two hundred. Okay, here's the clue. He painted the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. Ah, uh, I should have bet more. Who is Da Vinci? Precisely. Again. Movies 2000. Kirk Douglas played the gentleman caller in the film version of this Tennessee Williams play. This is what we want. The Glass Menagerie. I thought it was something else. Summer and Smoke or something. Movie 16. This sister of Francis Ford Coppola appeared in all of his Godfather films. Who was Sofia Coppola? No. Who is Talia Shire? I may be looking this up, but this is my videos. I can do what I want. That's correct. Now to complete this round. And the last one. He directed Wild Strawberries. Who is Richard Attenborough? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Nope. Anyone at all? This is the correct question. Ingmar Bergman. Let's check out the scores to see how the players are doing at the end of this double jeopardy round.
Well, thanks to a true daily double, I now have this out of reach. Now it's time for final jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Hmm. Go ahead, make your wager. I'm just doing, I'm just doing 1600. I don't want to take a big risk. Here's the clue. Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to need it. The titles of the state songs of Kansas and Kentucky both contain this four letter word. What is home? Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player two, was? Love. Sorry. No. What did that cost you? Everything. Down to zero for you. Ouch. Player three, your question was? You said hope. Ouch. No. no. How much did you wager on that? Everything. Player one, your question was? I said, home. In a word, yes. All right. The was? 1600 taking me to $25,000. That was certainly an exciting game. Sure was. Congratulations to our big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. So that makes it one million five hundred seventy-five thousand dollars for fifty-four games. you all have fun. See you again on Jeopardy. Bye Alex and I'll see you all for game 55.